Thank you for uh, the introduction. My name is Takuro Yonezawa from Nagoya University. So this is the joint work with Keio University. So my <coughs> presentation title is Civic Cloud Sensing Through Location Aware Virtual Monster. So this is my presentation overview. We introduced new participatory sensing model called Lokemon. It is the short name of Location Monster which leverages virtual location aware monster as a shared proxy of users for um, cloud sensing. So in this uh, presentation, I'd like to present our concept uh, and uh, also we'd like to show the first experimental result in the campus. So first of all, I'd like to show the concept movie. I hope the um, video will be smoothly played. Pokemon is a location monster. They live everywhere around you. Once you register, you can see the map with a bunch of Pokemon. For example, Basti lives at the bus stop. You can ask like, is it crowded? Then he would answer, no, nobody other than me. You can ask any questions about the location. Location-specific monsters will answer to you. But who is going to be Basti? The answer is you. The system asks users at the venue to retain the most specific cute monster. Remote users with questions about the venue ask the questions to the Pokemon. The Pokemonized user will answer them and help the remote questioner. Okay, so this is that is the concept of our research, but I'd like to start with background. So as all of you may know the uh, concept of participatory sensing or crowd sensing was introduced in uh, 2006 in census. And so from at that time, now we have, most of us have uh, um, smartphones that has many sensors, uh, camera, accelerator, with the location information by GPS. So by using the smartphones and also uh, several wearable sensors, we can capture the real world information by cooperating with the citizen. And uh, here is the two types of uh, crowd sensing. One is the formatted sensing. This means that uh, there should be some uh, formatted task and uh, users answers, uh, users participate tasks by sending the answer, it's a formatted answer like uh, five scale, uh, Likert scale, uh, et cetera. On the contrary, we also have an unformatted free sensing way. That means it's uh, like a, a question and answering way. Uh, so remote people can ask the question to the people who is in the somewhere in the city, and the citizen can answer the question in a free format by using Twitter or any social network service. But here is a problem. We uh, address three problems in crowd sensing. One is uh, user privacy, and second one is data quality and reliability, and third one is uh, how we can keep the user motivation. So there are several. Uh, research that tackles to the, each problem, but uh, it is still how we can these um, problems in the crowd sensing is uh, we have to tackle. And uh, so this is an example. In the privacy level, we can um, protect the privacy if the users can use anonymous name as a, a crowd sensing participant. So if user takes the anonymous name, uh, the user's privacy should be protected. But at the same time, it allows the many, many low quality information. You can easily imagine that uh, anonymous social network service, there are many, many low quality messages. And sometimes some of users uh, be troll. And if we use a uh, real name, it can uh, reduce the number of low quality messages or information but uh, it should reduce the number of uh, sensing because uh, using their name has a risk to uh, privacy leak. So usually this uh, relationship is trade-off. So in this research, our motivation is how we uh, solve this trade-off between user protection and data quality or volume, also the, keeping the motivation. So this is uh, our uh, research goal and approach. 
So our goal is exploring a new cloud sensing model that is compatible with protecting privacy and data quality control with keeping user motivation of sensing participation. And our approach is that uh, we would like to introduce the concept of dramaturgy in sociological theory and sensing method. This dramaturgy is used for associating new identity to people who participate to the crowd sensing activity. So this is a traditional model using username uh, or real name or anonymous name. So here is uh, the scenario. A remote user named Alice asks the question uh, remotely, stop. Uh, the Bob, who is close to the bus stop, uh, found a question and answered with his name, like uh, four people in the line. And Alice replied, like, thank you. Uh, this uh, scenario shows that uh, so Alice can get a real world situation, but at the same, she knows that Bob is here. So, so this means that uh, there should be a privacy leak. And this is our proposal model in this research. So we use Monster as a shared proxy of the participatory sensing. So when the Bob or the people are close to the, this point of interest, so in the point of interest, uh, so there is a monster called Basidi. So in that case, in our model, so Alice, remote user, can ask the question to the, this monster. Well, hey, Basvi, how many people in the line? And Basvi can reply, like four people in the line. But actually, this Basvi is, Basvi's message is posted by a near user, Bob. But he can hide his name, nickname. And uh, so in this case, and the Bob has a new identity as Basvi. So this is a very simple model, but uh, we propose in our crowd sensing model. So, so our model has a three process. So in this uh, three points, we provide what users can do in Rokemon. Firstly, uh, users search nearby Rokemons and ask a question to the Rokemon remotely. So this means assigning the sensing task to the uh, monster. And secondly, uh, when users close to the, this monster, this location, a user can get the Lokemon to the user's collection by visiting a place with Lokemon virtual libraries. So this monster collection is like a, a gamification. I, we think uh, this could be a motivation of the user in the loop of uh, crowd sensing. And also the last three um, use this monster, uh, this Lokemon, as an alias to report information near to its site. So this means achieving a sensing task. So in this case, there is a ramen noodle restaurant. So the remote user asks to the ramen man uh, how many people in the line, and the user close to the ramen noodle restaurant can mimic this monster called the ramen man and answer the question. More than 10 people, it takes 30 minutes for entering, before entering. So here we have a hypothesis why Lokemon can solve the um, problems of uh, privacy protection and uh, keeping the data quality and also the motivation. So, so this is the hypothesis. Lokemon can provide the past part of sensing with protecting users' privacy, with managing data quality, and also with motivating users to participate. So there is a concept of uh, a theory of a, a sociological theory domain called dramaturgy. Dramaturgy theory is uh, founded by or defined by Urban Goffman. Uh, this dramaturgy has uh, these uh, uh, definition, uh, these uh, findings. So human interactions are always influenced by time, place, and audience. It suggests that the person's identity is not a stable and independent psychological entity, but rather gets remade as a person interacts with others. So in other words, people always have to be aware of whether they are playing an expected role or change their behaviors to manage the impression they make on others. For example, when we work in the Starbucks or coffee shop, we tend to act as the shop uh, staff, or when we uh, close the costume, we tend to act 
like a zombie or a, like a hero. So in that sense, uh, if we install new identity to the users, users can tend to act like that monster. And also uh, we think it can control the data quality with keeping uh, risk of the privacy leak. So this is a screenshot. So we uh, made the application called the Lokemon, Location Monster. So this is a screenshot of ad creation area. So when you are out of uh, Lokemon territory, it's uh, uh, more than 50 meters of the Lokemon, uh, users can ask the question to the Lokemon. Uh, there is a button that uh, talk to, so this is a, a monster named Blanco. So this is button means that to talk to Blanco. Then there will be a um, so, uh, chat window will be open. So user can ask question, for example, uh, so here this day, uh, there is a festival and uh, this user asking how crowd the place to the, this monster and this monster replies the answer. And this is also the uh, screenshot as question area. No, it's it's answer, answer. So when the user is inside of uh, Lokemon territory, uh, when user click the, this monster, user can see the button on the talk as Blanco. So this means that the user can get a new identity. So in this case, user can reply by using the name of uh, this monster. So that from the remote users, uh, user can only know that, uh, so this monster replied question. So uh, we have these two modes. One is questionnaire mode, and the other one is uh, answering mode by um, monster. So we designed the many, many monsters, more than uh, 200 monsters, and we installed the monsters in the many points of interest in uh, Japan. Okay, so this is the brief overview of the system. So in the, our uh, server, we have uh, published PubSub topics, and each PubSub topic uh, relates to the monster. And uh, when a uh, user is being a monster, user can post publish the message to the monster by using the name of the monster. And uh, uh, the users who subscribe the monster uh, can get the published message. Also, they can uh, publish the question to the monster. So uh, by um, using the, this PubSub based system, uh, not only the this participatory sensing, also we uh, combining the IoT system also. Uh, okay, so we did the pilot study in our campus. So we locate, we uh, deployed um, nine monsters in our campus. So in this campus, uh, we expected participants to send their questions about the location. For example, what is a uh, recommendation of uh, subway bread today? Or how many people in the bus stop? Or what kind of open class is happening in uh, this building? And uh, we prepared two types of uh, applications. One is Lokemon, and the other one is Lokelepo. That is without the monster information. So in this study, we'd like to compare the how Lokemon works uh, compared to the uh, without uh, monster name. So uh, most of the uh, application works equally, but the uh, only difference is uh, when user is close to the monsters, a user can ask the question as the monster name. So this is the uh, uh, result. So uh, in overall, uh, we had a positive result that uh, Lokemon works very effectively for uh, crowd sensing. So Lokemon pro provided more than twice the opportunity to collect information from people who were inside the point of interest. Uh, 153 messages were posted in Lokemon, and uh, 114 messages were posted in Lokelepo. And uh, especially uh, 72 out of uh, uh, all messages in Lokemon were posted from POI. That means that people are more enjoying uh, to post a message as Lokemon rather than ask a question. But uh, uh, in the Lokelepo, without the Lokemon, uh, only 24 out of uh, all messages were posted from the point of interest. That means uh, uh, some, in this local level, we had uh, more questions 
than answering questions. And in terms of the data quality or communication style, we found uh, interesting results. In Lokemon, it seems that uh, we found uh, the people tend to do the many to one communication. Many is uh, uh, questioning people, and one means uh, most. That like, uh, hey, Subway, what is your recommendation today? And uh, also the window seems to be strong today. Are you okay, but B? This means that the people tend to ask uh, something to the monster. That means that people uh, uh, recognize uh, this, uh, the monster as an identical um, subject. But uh, in the local repo, uh, so that uh, people have uh, many to many communication, like does anyone know whether the subway is opening now? And also uh, we found uh, other interesting uh, communication style in Lokemo, people tend to use more casual communication because uh, this is a monster. So it looks like uh, people uh, have, like, seems to easy to ask very casually, like, hey, Basbi, are you cold or silent? And also the people tend to reply in very casual way. But uh, in the local repo, people tend to do have a polite communication. Like, could someone tell me whether the shop is open or not? Well, opening time in spring vacation is from 11 to uh, 3. So in some use cases, I think that this uh, traditional scenario is okay. So um, using Lokemon or using the traditional style, is, I think this depends on the use case. But uh, anyway, we found that uh, there is some interesting uh, results by using location aware monster as a shared proxy. And also we did a questionnaire survey to the participants, like it was presented post message or using uh, Lokemon name for, this is question for Lokemon users and using username, so this is for Lokelepo users, made it easy to post messages or the application enhanced my motivation to participate, application decreased the reliability of messages, the application decreased the risk of loss of privacy so as a result, uh, users in Lokemon uh, feel more positive rather than Lokelepo users. Okay, I think uh, we have no time, but uh, after the, this trial, we made an uh, in-the-wild study with more people. So this is not in this paper, but uh, we hope the results of uh, more in-the-wild study uh, should be reported in the future uh, of our research. So this is conclusion. So we presented Lokemon, which leverages location aware virtual monsters as proxy of participatory sensing. So our pilot study confirms some of our hypothesis for the Lokemon, uh, like uh, low privacy concern, like providing some motivation to users, or um, I don't know, data quality is, we did not check in the detail, but uh, we found that it is possible to manage or control the data quality by designing the monsters. Okay, thank you very much.